Everything? This feast has to be great. Yes, it is our last chance. Wolf kissed. Welcome to Ravensthorpe. I'm Eivor, though you seem to know me already. You are well known to us. I am Toka Sinrik's daughter, and the Frankish boar with me is my advisor, Pierre. We are here on behalf of Siegfried of Francia. Renowned warrior and leader of the Northmen there. You look to be at home here already. How could we not be? What you have done in this place is amazing. The guest house is a fitting addition. We have also brought new tastes for your long table from Francia. If it is drink you prefer, we have mulled wine. Very generous. Some might say overly generous. Consider it a token of goodwill from the hand of my uncle Siegfried. You know, clan to clan. That would be blood if any here heard I refused to feast. So, consider it accepted. <laughs> yes, you honor us. Ravensthorpe reminds me of how Frankia used to be. Given the chance, I would visit often. Then you would be welcome. Yet, you do not share your gifts for nothing. I await the boon you surely will ask of me. Tales of your judgment prove true. You can teach me some of that wisdom over ale this day. Shall we begin? Let us see if these Frankish treats hold up to scrutiny. Let us eat! One can prefer ale to wine. Mon dieu, it astounds me still. You Norse may have us Franks on the battlefield, but when it comes to drink, we stand unbeaten. This wine is great, I admit. So, northerners do have a sense of taste. <laughs> I want to show you something. In our travels throughout England, I have taken swords in raids and battles. This I took in a home gang against two oafish brothers in East Anglia. This by the wound twig, but is still my favorite. So you've traveled to all corners of this land before arriving at Ravensthorpe. To what end? I mean to entice you and others like you to join in the glorious raids along the River Seine. Who have you talked with thus far? Many. Jarl Heminger, Guthrum, even Hofton. Paris itself is set to be sieged. And after that, we will have amassed more riches than anyone in England has dared imagine. Let me guess how many Jarls will join you on your Frankish raids and sieges. None. They just fail to see the scale of the bounty we stand to plunder. What do you really want, Toga? Every word I have said is true, but there is something else. A new power is rising in Francia. What kind of power? The Frankish kingdoms have been united under one king, Charles the Fat. And with this combined strength, Charles has begun a slow march against the Norse villages there. He killed my father and wiped out my village. I am sorry for your father and your village, but we have our own troubles here, in this land. With Charles the Fat in power, those troubles will worsen. After his campaign in Francia, he will come for England. Charles will come for you and your clan. His armies multiply by the day. Real soldiers and cavalry. Not like the Saxon farmhands and gillers in these parts. If the Raven clan were to help you, what is it you would ask of us? Our chieftain Siegfried 
prepares to siege Paris and make the Franks rethink their actions against we Norse. And our longships will grow heavy with treasure in the doing. My scouts attest to the claims of Toka and her people. But before now, I saw no reason to involve our clan. Do you see reason now? If the mad King Charles does have ambitions for England, we should act. The Siegfried she mentioned. He rallies the Norse there. Joining him could be our chance to push back against this new king. Or I could meet this Charles myself. And if he will not deal with me, I kill him. This problem is bigger than one king. If we kill one, another will rise. Were he murdered by a Norse from England, it could bring the Franks to our shores even sooner. Then I will be mindful of who I kill and who I ally with in Francia. Could be a stable king is the way to keep Ravensthorpe safe. Let me see the sword. I wish to examine the ironwork. No, I stole this and it is mine. Fine. If you will not show it to me, I will have to take it. Ready yourself, Pierre. I challenge you to a home gang. Enough. Toka, you came here looking for help with this new Frankish threat. And the Raven clan will answer your call. You will? You will! I promise you will not regret this. Find Pierre when you have prepared, and we will make for Frankia at once. Thank you. I hope your head does not ache like mine. What a night. But we should leave for Francia soon. Pierre, ready to leave for Francia when you are. I'm ready. Frankia, the land of Charlemagne and the bitter price of Ragnar, who sacked Paris for a fortune in silver and sorrow. Now a new king rises, uniting Franks against Norse in open battle, and casting angry eyes toward England. I must stop this mad king from sending war across the sea. Already his armies assemble. And crows gather again over Paris. Welcome to Francia! What? No sniveling emissary from King Charles to greet us? Believe me, Wolfkist, you will feel the warmth of his welcome soon enough. The mad king did this. We all had a part in it. Gods... This is what he would bring to Ravenstorm. It is. We are almost what there, are but we cannot take the longship around Paris, as the Frank's bridges block the way.
village is inland. We will take the horses from here. The others will follow on foot. Is there danger of an ambush? Not this close to the water, and not at night. Siegfried has done his work too well. I will finish unloading the ship. You two go ahead. Many thanks, Pierre. And Eivor. There is something we should talk about when I arrive at Melun. Until then, ride safe. Mount up. The ride is not long. How will I face Siegfried? He entrusted me to gather axes. He wants me to lead one day, but I failed even this. The failure was not all yours, Tucker. Jarls are ever busy with their own concerns. Ah, just give me strong ale and a good fight. What else matters? Frankish scouts. They have been watching us closely of late. What do you think it means, Eivor? That Siegfried has not finished his work yet. Siegfried will not be finished until there are no more Franks left to fight. Scouts have been gnawing at our heels ever since Charles forced us from the north. He pushes hard against your people. You might have to leave sooner than you expect, Toga. I may not be the best one to do it. I see the longhouse. We are almost there. to be back after so long. I thought to return with an army. Welcome to Milan. We should find Siegfried. Toka, you have returned. All went well, I hope. Are the others you brought coming behind you? I need to find Siegfried. Of course. Well, uh, you will find him where he always is. Ah, yes. He will be at the burial grounds, staring into the mist. It is where he begins most days. This way. Our burial grounds. Sinric, my father, lies there, with the others. We should go. There's something calming about this place. It is a beautiful land. Or would be if it was not filled with Franks. There is Siegfried. You go ahead. He may not be happy to see me return with so few allies. I will not rest, brother. You are almost there. Your honor will be redeemed. I swear. Siegfried. You came, Wolf's kiss. Good. You knew it was me. 
Pierre sent word ahead. Your axe will be a boon to us. I heard your axe has been busy as well. Yes, I've slain many on the open field with honor. As Odin intended. It is our way. But it is not their way. The Franks dragged our Jarl Sinric from his bed and gutted him like a coward. They did not even bury him, just left his body for the animals to take. I raised this mound for him. You want me to join your side against these Franks? There is no side. There is only blood debt and vengeance and Helheim for those I split with my axe. I know of blood debt and vengeance. When the time comes, Secret, you will have my axe. Good. Tis as I hoped. Now we will feast, and I will tell you of my plans for Paris. This is Vida, a more noble beast I have never known. The God of Vengeance. It is a good name. Many Franks have met their end beneath his iron hoofs. He hates them almost as much as I do. You placed a carving at Sinric's grave. Sinric won it from me in the home gang when we were children. It is Eichthirni who watches over Odin's hall in Valhalla. He was holding it when I found him. It was the only way I knew him after the animals had gotten to his body. Ours will be the greatest raid since Ragnar sacked Paris and brought longships full of silver back to King Horik. We will fill our war chest with silver and our mugs with mead. Blood and glory! Skull! This is not just about silver, Torka. He hates being disturbed while he eats. You know, Ragnar returned with more than just silver. More than silver? What was it? Swords, precious jewels, wine! Stories of a dead saint defending Paris. Horik was so awed, he freed the Christians and executed his raiders. Really? That does not sound glorious. Behold, I will deliver thine enemy into thine hand, that thou mayest do to him as it shall seem good to thee. Kill the heathens! Bring me Sigfred's head, and that one as well. Leave the stripling alive to tell of it. The what? Bishop Engelwyn, this is a good night. Oh shit. I must be careful now. Hey, Horses give them advantage, but it will not be enough. What did he say to you?
Tolka, see to the wounded, and find the watch. They should have warned us of the attack. I told you he doesn't like to be interrupted while eating. We needed that soldier alive to question. Wild heart, level head. Oh, I like that. Where is Siegfried going? My guess is to find that bishop, Engelwin. He hates him above all others. It was he who killed Sinric. Yes, his sword brother, and your father. I'm sorry, Toga. Nothing has changed. If anything, the attacks grow more frequent, as you see. Ranvi was right. I have to stop this before it reaches Ravensthorpe. <laughs> Unless you can convince their king to surrender, you may have to kill every soldier in Francia. This battle will not be won with axes. I must find a way to meet Charles. Convince him not to attack England. Remember, Charles murdered Gottfried. He will not honor his word. Better to kill him. The problem is bigger than one king, Toga. I must talk to him. It is what my clan expects. You may be right. But I am not the one you will have to convince in the end. If you kill Engelwin, Siegfried might be persuaded to help you find Charles. You begin to think like a Jarl, Toka. Twice our scouts followed Engelwin to the slums south of Paris. When you are ready, that is where Siegfried will be. I will meet Siegfried there and return when Engelwin is dead. Then, we will find Charles. Evor, over here! Yeah. What is this about? We have a shared interest. You in resisting Francia's north loathing loyalists, me in getting paid. Those do not seem connected. I am working with a rogue band of men and women across Francia who tire of the chaos Charles's rule brought. Their numbers are small. Few are foolish enough to resist well-equipped loyalist forces. You do not believe in their cause? I do not, but they do. This is where you come in. Help them, and you will have ample reward for your effort. It is strange that you support them while believing their cause ill-fated. What kind of monster would I be if I were to dash the hope they hold in their hearts? Anyway, there is profit to be made, and only a fool ignores that. What do you want to do? What have you got for me? It begins. Good luck, Evar.
asked about. He hates them, that is certain. Uh, did you see him crush that soldier's neck? Oh, Dieu! Magnifique! If you want to do more, I'll be here. I did not take you for a lover of cats. I am not. One of the rebels picked it up during a mission, nearly cost the fool his life. Animals are true-hearted. That cat will be a loyal companion to the end of its life. I doubt it. Felines are crafty, sly. They follow their own agendas, much like myself. Once he has had his fill of food and drink, I predict a quiet disappearance. Speaking of disappearances, the loyalists grow fewer. Our missions are going well. Am I detecting some sentiment? We are making small change, but it is not enough. And it matters not, so long as we make a profit. So, what will it be? 
How do the rebels fare? That's all for now. How can I help? I'll be back later. Well, you know where to find me if you change your mind. the gate. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Same. Show me.
How did you find me? Where is Tolka? Tolka guessed you would be here. She is still at Milan, looking for your missing watch. Uh, I lost Angoin, but this soldier told me he is heading for the church nearby. Come, we can go through the slums. Ah, even from here I can smell the piss of the slums. Siegfried, I mean to stop this fight from coming to England. I must meet with Charles. For what? You cannot bargain with these thralls. Have you forgotten my fallen brother, Sinric? No, and that is why I must try. It is why I came to Frank here. If I kill Engelman, I want you to help me get an audience with the king. There is no reasoning with you, Wolfkist. You are as wild as your namesake. In our veins runs the blood of holy kings and conquerors. The northerners may have numbers, but we have God. That is Odo, Count of Paris and right-hand man to the king. Drumming up support for his army, no doubt. Our courage and honor will not fail us, no matter how hot the fight. We will overcome this evil, as we always have. Self-important as always. The one next to him is Gosselin, Bishop of Paris and a fearsome warrior. For the Frank. Those two are for another day. You have to get to Angolin, and to do that, you have to find your way into the church. The answer is down there in that stink. That is not much to go on. If it was easy, I would have killed him myself already. You have an advantage. You are unknown to these... People. The Raider Siegfried is almost at our gates! And what does he want? What the Northerners always want! Blood and silver! Yours and mine! Me, they know quite well already. Someone down there knows something. All you have to do is get them to tell you. I have your word. Once this is done, we find Charles. As you say, but work fast. I cannot leave Miller on guard in long. And this Frankish stench already turns my stomach. Three guards, insulting. I will deal with them while you find Engelwin. He is hiding in his church. Will you sneak in? Convince one of his own to aid you? Or cover the streets with blood? As you would? They deserve no less. But you are the wolf kissed. You do not need my advice. So what will you do? I will find my own way. Odo is the protector of Paris, the king's man, and he has told you the truth. You can't trust the Northmen to do anything but be Northmen. Bread or coin? Bread or coin?
Are you the owner? Owner? Oh, <laughs> That's such a naively hopeful word. What can I get you? You have a good crowd. If you mean tables of soldiers drowning themselves in wine at my expense, then yes, it's good enough. It might be better if not for that old drunk over there crying about the bishop to everyone who listen. <sighs> I'd send him away, but to be honest, I need his business. I need to find the bishop. <laughs> the bishop? <gasps> I can tell you, he's not in this mud pit, my friend. He wouldn't risk soiling his holy sandals. There is a priest who does the bishop's numbers in here at times. Last I saw, he was talking to a table of soldiers. Thanks for the help. You look the kind that enjoys a good complaint. You'll be back. Wine loosens lips as well as ale. Someone at the tavern might know something that will get me into the church. Someone needs to report back to the bishop. What does the bishop and his son? You mentioned the bishop. Oh, he took her. My daughter. She's gone. She's a good girl. Never any trouble. She wouldn't steal anything. Who took your daughter? Was it the bishop? The bishop's soldiers in the slums. That she stole the Bishop Silver. That she has a devil who needs deliverance. Uh, sir? What did you say? I will find your daughter here in the slums, and she will help me find Engelwyn. I could look for the drunk's daughter at the slums. I'll see if there's more to learn here. He's taken care of. Well, not me. My cup isn't empty yet. <laughs> Soon in. Guide me. Well, not me. God is with me! Close. You're welcome. Your father told me the bishop took you. My father? Yeah, the bishop's soldiers. I didn't steal nothing neither. Then they wanted to give me deliverance. You stole from the bishop. That was bold. I just said I didn't, didn't I? Well, I didn't take no silver. It was just a little church key. I want that key. So did the soldiers. But you are too late. 
I sold it to bandits in the sewers. They got it cheap, too. My reward for helping you is to fight bandits. You are welcome. Good luck. The sewers stink. I have to get to my father before he is thrown out of the tavern again. Everyone knows the bishop has rooms packed with silver and valuables. You might have to take care of that girl. She's the only one who knows we have the key. Get in. <laughs> Close down here. Try your luck back upstairs. My cup is empty yet. That bishop makes me uneasy. For a servant of God, he has a terrible temper.
Best brace my hood here. Are you here for deliverance? Yes. I, I don't know. I want to be close to God, but those screams don't seem right. Does it seem right to you? Your deliverance ritual. It is with Ingolan. Uh, yes. He does it alone. I, I'm next in line, and I, I don't think I want this. I could take your place and see Ingolan for you. Then you could leave. Tell me what I must do. You need a robe. They won't let you in without their special robe. Then, you go down the corridor and talk to the priest. Give me a robe. My robe? But, but they gave me one, but um, I didn't put it on. I, I left it somewhere around here. I will find it and take your place. You should leave now before they call for you. Yes. Y yes, you're right. As soon as my nerves settle, I'll go. It can be right. Bishop Engelwin didn't say anything about this. Why are they screaming? What do they do in the basement? Whatever deliverance is, it sounds grim. I see you are ready for the ritual. Take this key. Prepare your heart and when you are ready, enter through this door. The bishop is waiting for you. Welcome, traveler. Your eyes are covered, yet you see me. Justice and innocence are both blind, yet see more clearly, boy. Find them, light the way, and see the treasures of God. God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. The way through darkness to your deliverance is clear, and it is lit by God. It is a riddle. The way to deliverance. That was me and Engelman. Without them, we are blind. Naked you came from your mother's womb, and naked you will 